The solar panels on your house probably won't catch on fire, but there's a chance the solar in this hole may burn to the ground. How do you think a massive drop in business and thousands of layoffs affect the solar industry? Can it take a Mike Tyson level beating or are we looking at a potential collapse? Hi there, I'm Sinue and you're tuned into the Drone Quote channel. You know, the solar industry was shining bright in the last couple of years. So let's give you some context to appreciate the decline that's taken place. This ain't Sour Patch Kids. There's not a sweet aftertaste. In 1954, Bell Laboratories invented the first silicon solar cell. In 1980, Idaho and Arizona pioneered net metering where you could sell excess energy back to the grid. And this was before green energy was politicized, considering those two are Republican states. But it wasn't until 2011 six years after the 30% tax credit was enacted in 2005, that the solar industry started taking off. First, in 2007, when Sunrun started offering leases by leveraging the tax credit, and then with solar loans, creating an option to buy your solar panels with small or zero dollar down payments. From 2011 to 2022, there was an eye-popping 7,900% increase in the amount of electricity generated from solar panels. During this time, solar power plants popped up all over the country. This boom was fueled by investments like the Department of Energy's $45 million Sunshot Initiative in 2011, named after JFK's Moonshot Initiative. In 2014, the U.S. added solar power every three weeks equivalent to what it did the entire year of 2008. By 2022, about 3.6 million American homes installed solar panels. At one point, there were 260,000 jobs in the solar energy sector. Everything was sunshine and savings until it wasn't. So what's behind thousands of solar job losses, companies shutting down, and billions in lost revenue. Money. When solar loans hit the market in 2015, they instantly became very popular and accounted for a high percentage of solar panel sales. Oh, wow, so you can really give me a loan? I sure can. Solar adoption continued to increase between rising energy costs and lower lending costs. But then the Fed raised rates in March of 2022 and followed with six subsequent rate increases. Rising interest rates diminished the value of solar panels as loans became more expensive. For example, a 0.99% rate turned into a 4.99 rate, resulting in higher monthly payments and considerably lower utility savings. And installers were feeling the pain too, as higher interest rates made working capital more expensive or inaccessible. In the former number one solar market of California, that would not necessarily stop solar in and of itself, but then California devalued solar energy by 75% in April of 2023, further eliminating the benefit of solar panels. And you may think, what about the remaining solar markets? Unfortunately, as California goes with solar, so does the rest of the market. Other utilities in different states are doing or planning to make similar changes to future solar customers, further slowing demand. Plus, in areas with lower utility rates than California, solar panels only made sense on loans if the rates were offered at pandemic pricing, which is no longer the case. So of course, that further depressed solar panel adoption. What effect do you suppose these downward pressures have on the solar industry? From the looks of it, the ripple effects of higher interest rates and decreased value of solar power are taking their toll. A survey of California solar companies found that 17,000 jobs have or will be lost by the end of 2023 due to the recent net metering changes. The massive job losses represent 22% of all solar jobs in California. But the hemorrhaging isn't limited to California. Around the country, solar companies are dropping like flies, pulling out of markets, and suffering significant losses due to headwinds caused by changes in the industry. Big companies like Sunrun and Sonova have seen their stock prices plummet since early 2021. 
Manufacturers are also feeling the heat. SolarEdge Technologies had to let go of 16% of its staff and Enphase, their stock is down 50% and they announced a 10% workforce reduction in December of 2023. It's not just installers and manufacturers. Sunlight Financial, a big player in the solar finance space, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in October of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, there is blood in the water. With the tide out, it seems it took companies' profits and market share. And those remaining may be exposing some skin, one of which may be you. If you installed solar panels, you may want to look down and check and see if you're swimming naked. You should investigate if your installer is still in business, especially in California. If they are in business, ask them what contingency plan they would suggest for you should they go under. Unfortunately, some of you will learn that your installer went out of business, in which case you're likely on your own. So here are some things you can do. Stay vigilant with solar monitoring. You don't want to find out your system has been offline for the last two months, leaving you with a massive electricity bill. Check your monitoring regularly or set up automated notifications for malfunctions. Next, keep your solar documents safe as they provide warranty and system details. If you encounter system issues, you'll want to look into these documents to know if you're calling the solar panel or inverter manufacturer. And finally, you can seek an operations and maintenance provider. Check out our video on orphaned solar panel systems for more details, but basically, there are solar contractors out there that offer service for orphaned solar panel systems. You may be well served to line up an O&M provider before the system has issues or requires maintenance. But if you haven't installed solar panels and still want in on some of that warm sunshine, cash is king right now. Cash is king, Marco. If you're installing in California, you're better off with a smaller system or lower usage offset, plus some battery storage to help avoid sending power back to the grid, where they give you peanuts. While there are strong headwinds against the solar industry, as long as the sun shines, solar energy is here to stay despite some difficulties. If you're considering getting solar panels, it's a good idea to do it now, but be smart about it, which is what Drumquote is known for. Our approach is education first and buying decisions second. We don't hard sell anyone because we believe in the joy of buying versus the regret of getting sold. Check us out at dronequote.net. And if you like this content and feel it has earned hitting the subscribe button, please do so. But more importantly, if you have solar, I'm not kidding about monitoring. Avoid getting caught with your swim trunks down should the tide take out your installer. Watch this video on why solar monitoring is so important and why it could be worth thousands of dollars if you catch problems on time.